Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We have got the Berry Grove School set up and there are these two lonely little students sitting in their seats, but there's no teacher. So we're gonna turn these little students around so that they can watch what we're about to open. There's Ralph, the walnut squirrel, and there's Rebecca, the milk rabbit. And we are going to open up the school music lesson set. And this one comes with a teacher, Mr. Burberry, the grey bear, and a whole host of musical instruments. So let's open it up and we're gonna play with them all. All right, first out of the pack is Mr. Burberry, the gorgeous fuzzy little grey bear. It'd be a bit difficult to take him seriously because he's fuzzy and cute, but we have to because he's the teacher, even though behind all of this, this official black coat, there's a fuzzy little bear tail. Oh, but he does look very, yeah, he looks very serious with his red bow tie and his black jacket. So we will take him seriously, I promise. We will pay very good attention to Mr. Burberry when he is teaching the class. So stand over here, Mr. Burberry, and we will get all the instruments out. First up, we need a bit of room here because this school has got a grand piano and it's even got the insides even look right with all the strings and here's the stick to put the lid up. So let's put the lid up so we can let all the grand piano sound out. It's got a keyboard on the front and pedals down the bottom, which don't move at all, but that's okay because I don't think the little critter's feet would be able to reach the pedals anyway. So where are we gonna put this piano while we have a look what else? Over here? Maybe in here. There we go, we'll squeeze it into there. <laughs> I'm sure Ralph and Rebecca don't mind. Oh, and this is the stool, the piano stool to go with the piano, and it is cushioned so your poor little bottom doesn't get sore from sitting there and practicing for many long hours. And we're going to move Rebecca's desk out of the way and move the piano over. And Rebecca, would you like to play us a piece that you learned at your last piano lesson? Oh, that's lovely. Here, can I move you over here a little? There we go. And you can keep playing while we have a look at the other pieces. Here's the music stand. And it's even got a treble clef on it for ornamentation. Good, we'll need that to hold our music at the right height while we're playing our instruments. And this is a vibraphone. It has got metal bars and it's got resonator tubes down the bottom. These are some very fancy instruments. The school obviously values and funds their music program. It's wonderful to see. But I can see that we also have to have drums if we're gonna have a music program, so we'll open them up. And here we go, we have two drums. The bass drum, the big bass drum. Put it over here and also, we'll keep moving Rebecca over just a little bit more and we'll get Ralph out of the way too. A little snare drum as well, so that's that's very handy if you're learning percussion. We've got two basic drums there that we need. Oh, and some stands to put them on as well. Well, a stand for the bass drum first. I dare say there will probably be a stand for the snare drum as well. There's a lot of detail in here. See, I told you there'd be a stand for the snare drum. This is it here. Excellent, so we'll put it on and it even angles forward so that it's at the right angle for the little player to play properly. What is this here? Oh, it's a piano accordion. <laughs> Not certain how many school music lessons there are for piano accordions, but apparently Ralph is going to come out of his desk here. We'll take him off his chair. And would you like to have a go at the piano accordion? Of course you would. I'm sure it's a very loud instrument that you would like to make a lot of noise with. So let's see if I can figure out how this is supposed to go on around your head with the elastic. Now that's not at quite the right angle. No, you cannot play the keyboard with your nose. So maybe we need to put it over your head and under one arm. Still not working very well. I think I'm gonna to need to be a bit more creative with the elastic, but we need to have the keyboard of it. Uh, that's right, under one hand and the other side for the hand to pull in and out. So that looks like he's almost holding it correctly, almost. <laughs> and then we have a pack with even more and I think I saw a whole heap of mallets yes there are there are a whole heap of mallets in there but first up we've got some nice noisy cymbals yes they definitely work properly and they're definitely noisy it's gonna be so much fun these school music lessons and a triangle a little teeny tiny triangle and it won't make that noise when I play it with my finger but hopefully there'll be a mallet in there for it and what is this this is a melodica. 
Hmm, another one of those ones I'm not certain that you learn in music lessons at school. But sorry, Rebecca, we were really enjoying that piano playing. But we're going to see if you can play the melodica. How's that? You know, that's not too bad for a first go. So, so the melodica, the melodica and the piano accordion. Oh, and just to top it all off, a plastic recorder. How horrible. Oh, sorry, how lovely. Well, she plays it quite nicely. Thank heavens. Oh, right. So that's all the instruments. We now have a whole heap of mallets and this big one is for the bass drum. Excellent. These are quite accurate, these mallets and the instruments. They're very good reproductions, I think. And these ones are shaped correctly for the vibraphone as well. See how the vibraphone sounds. Oops, dropped a mallet. <laughs> All good. We'll put these safely over here where they won't slip out. And we have another one that's not a mallet. This is the conductor's baton. So here you are, Mr. Bearberry. Now you can keep the whole ensemble in order and in time. Try not to throw it at anybody. It is for keeping the time. And stand up. There, there we are. That's a teeny tiny mallet and it appears to be made out of metal so it definitely goes with the triangle. So many little pieces. Oh, and that one's trying to get away. Stay there with the triangle. These ones are wooden, wooden drumsticks for the snare drum. Wonderful. They're just so good, so, so accurate. Oops, hold on, I dropped that snare drum. That's probably not very good for it. Uh, let's see if I can get these to sit on the top. They should be able to sit in the little groove. There, there we are. Now, this would not be a Sylvanian Families or a Calico Critter set without something to fold or to make or to put together. And here we have got two musical scores for the little critters to use, to learn their music off. And it is <laughs> entitled Sylvania. Let's fold it into the correct position so that they can have it open up on their stands and they can all play together. We'll tuck this little tab in over here. There. There's your musical score and we'll fold it over. There. One musical score and we'll see if it sits on the on the, the music stand. And another one we might need for the piano music stand as well. So we'll speed this one up because it's exactly the same. And let's see if it stands on, nope, we've just knocked, <laughs> knocked down the keyboard lid. Oh, oh, no, that's not staying on at all. I'll have to keep trying. <laughs> Didn't work at all. Right, that's everything. Let's go and find somewhere to set it up. So here we are on the second story of the Berry Grove School and we are going to take all of the art supplies away and the art table. Actually, we might not take the art table away. We'll take the seats away and we'll use the table to lay out all of the little instruments. And the music stand over here, and here's the bass drum and the snare drum and the vibraphone. And hopefully there's room to squeeze the grand piano over here on the side. And here comes Rebecca Rabbit. She's checking out all the instruments. I wonder which one she would like to play today. And what about you, Ralph? Oh, they're standing at attention. I think they might have heard Mr. Bearberry. There he is. Mr. Bearberry has um, told them to set the instruments up, ready for their lesson. So today is the bass drum and the snare drum and the vibraphone lesson. And I believe that we need the music stand. And who's going to play what? You're going to play the drums, Ralph, are you? Right, well, there you are. You've got the bass drum mallet and Rebecca is going to play the vibraphone and she's got the vibraphone mallets. And where's Mr. Burberry? Are you going to come here and... Oh, good, you've got the music. Thank you for bringing the music. Right, you're going to sit up here. Oh, oh my gosh, we almost lost that piano, grand piano off the edge. Oh, what wonderful music. Oh, and it also appears to be a triangle and a cymbal and piano lesson day too. Ugh. That 
definitely sounds like a school band. And oh, also we're going to have an accordion solo. Are you going to play it all, Ralph? Ah, yes, you are. And a piano duet. I think that there would be a lot of you out here who know the name of this piece. Would you like to tell me what the name of this song is in the comments, please? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you at all. You're going to have to tell me. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and click like and check out some of our other silly videos and I will see you again really, really soon.